don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Get ready to take a trip down every lane. That table can only mean one thing. We're going to be playing some Game Boy. On today's episode, we're going to be playing Naketsu Volleyball. And yeah, that Technos game right there, you may recognize those characters. Usually there is dodgeball games galore made by Technos using the same characters. Well, this time around, we're going to be playing Aketsu Volleyball. We can check that out. Look at the uh, same characters that you would normally see in the volleyball game. Heavy copyright 1994 down there, Techno Technos Japan. And uh, if you're an arcade gamer, Technos is definitely famous for uh, WWF WrestleFest back in the early 90s. So we're going to be definitely uh, checking this out. And you can definitely see, you can hook up two Game Boys and play two-player volleyball. How awesome is that? So I definitely enjoyed their dodgeball games, so let's check out and see how good their volleyball game is. Is it going to be easier? Harder? Just as fun? Let's find out. Let's pop it into our Game Boy right here. We have our backlit Game Boy. We do have to adjust our camera settings in order to play this, so stay tuned. And pop it in here and let's get ready to play some volleyball on the Game Boy. So here we are playing Naketsu Beach Volleyball, a Japanese game made by Technos. You see got the Technos, Technos logo right there. And for those who are Technos fans, you know of uh, WrestleFest, the arcade game, the WWF game that came out quite a long time ago. Well, they also made like dodgeball and volleyball games too. So let's check this out. And then right away you have like that River City Ransom look. <laughs> look at that. The character models look like River City Ransom. So these are the different teams you can pick. You get these guys with the big huge noses right there. You get the uh, those characters. You get these mean looking characters right here that look like they're on steroids. You get these guys right here. They made them look kind of like dummies. And you get your normal looking characters right there. Now these kids look like they're a little bit younger, and we got the uh, well, these guys wear hair headbands. They look like they're about ready to beat the crap out of somebody. And of course, you got these guys right here. <laughs> it's an interesting selection of uh, characters. Let's just pick the normal ones right here. Now, before you play the game, you have a little bit of a story dialogue. You got something going on there. And who are we going up against? And we're going up against those weird looking dudes. We have item select. I love how the Japanese games are in partial English. Oh wow, we can choose drugs. Or you can get you can buy a bomb if you want. <laughs> That's a great selection of items right there. Etc. And I really don't know what this all this stuff is right here, so let's get out of here. <laughs> is this volleyball or dodgeball? It's definitely volleyball. So you see the other team oh, immediately scored because I didn't quite know oh the right button to put get over here. This is definitely harder than the dodgeball game. Get it! Oh, no, you hit me in the head. <laughs> Get it. Wow, this game is definitely much harder than what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, take that. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn, he scored again. The computer guy's killing me. Look at the nice detail in the, uh, the background. You got the building with the... Uh... Yeah. Finally! Let's see if the computer guy can. Oh, can, oh, he hit me in the head! That should be illegal. <laughs> Alright, so. Oh my god. So, right away, the game is definitely pretty difficult. It's a learning curve, and you have to be on point. 
Oh, that was a nice save. Oh, no. What a bastard. This guy is definitely uh, not being easy on me at all. And I'm a beginner. This is the first time playing the game. I must say the game is pretty cool. Like I'm not, I, don't, I don't like a whole lot of sports games and stuff like that, but uh, this one right here is uh, pretty cool. You have the, like, the little band-aid cross right there. My, these big dudes destroyed me. Alright, so we switch sides. Maybe we can do better on this side. No! So they're already working on me. They already got one point. It's round number two. Hit the ball! Hit the ball! <laughs> Hit the damn ball! Alright. So these guys are messing with me here. Oh, no. See right there, I'm getting destroyed. Yeah. Oh my god. The uh, dodgeball game, the Ketsu dodgeball game, whatever the hell it's called, that game is actually pretty fun. And it's easier to play. At least for me it is. This game is definitely not easy for me. It's challenging. It's good to have a good challenge. Oh my god, my guy just stood right there. What a bum. Hit the ball! <laughs> Alright, we finally got the ball over. Let's see if we can actually score one point, at least one point. Oh my god. Where the hell did my guy go? Wait, he took a piss break? Ball. It's kind of like a, what you would expect for a volleyball game, I guess. But it's definitely not easy. Especially since you can hit so hard that you can knock the other player out just about. Get it over the net. Oh my god. And once again, he, uh, these, these guys right here destroyed me. What a, jerks. And we can continue or we can end the game. Let's, uh, there's also a password right there. Look at that. So let's check it, this out again. There's also a versus mode, so I'm assuming that you can probably hook up two Game Boys. Probably more fun. There probably is a difficulty on this also where we can turn it down. And these guys look like they're a little bit on the older side. Let's, let's choose those guys. They might be have a little bit more experience. And who are we going to play against? Let's find out. Start the game. Let's, uh, let's find out here. Alright, we got a different looking stage. So you definitely get some different looking... St what the hell was that? So I definitely don't know how to serve the ball. Now, my characters have like huge noses. I don't know what they're trying to portray, but... Like Pinocchio sized noses. Definitely huge. Hit the ball, damn it! You see the uh, computer guy once again is killing me. They're using umbrellas as a way of hitting the ball. Yeah. I might actually score. He used his ass. You saw that? That's a trick. Hit the ball. Well, I'm doing good this time. Like this guy is using... Alright. Yeah, I scored one point finally. I feel okay playing the game now. <laughs> That's pretty cool music. Yeah, that time I actually served okay. 
No. Computer guy expects to kill me again. What the hell is that? What a lazy guy. He stood there and he let the ball fall on the ground. Hit the ball, damn it. Oh, he literally walked away from it. What the hell's wrong with him? I guess I don't control the computer guy. My teammate. My teammate is definitely not not good at volleyball. <laughs> oh my god. That was too quick. Hit the ball, hit the ball. All right, let's see if we can get it over the net here and score another point. And so far, we're doing okay. Oh, what the hell? No, I hit the wrong button. If you hit the, uh, what's this, the A button? If you hit the A button, you actually jump up in the air, the B button does to hit, uh, the actual volleyball hitting. I was right there, what the heck? This definitely feels like a like an NES type of game. So, Technos did a pretty good job bringing the uh, console home console experience to a handheld. So it has that NES feel. Let me see if we can make it up here. Oh my god! Damn it! See the but oh no. Yeah, once again, the computer guy is slaughtering me. And now that is uh Beach volleyball, not quite beach volleyball, it's a volleyball game, so you definitely don't play on the beach. So Nakitsu, I believe that's how it's pronounced. And uh, they make various different sports games. Dodgeball happens to be my favorite. Uh, they have a volleyball game as you saw right there. That game is definitely not as easy to play. Uh, if you do enjoy different sports games on the uh, your handheld, your Game Boy, uh, this might be one that you might want to pick up from Japan. It's actually a pretty, pretty decent game, but it's challenging and it's difficult in comparison to dodgeball. If you enjoyed this episode of Memory Lane, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what you think of this interesting volleyball game. Pretty cool.